With the growing popularity of off-roading and overlanding, there's no shortage of expos, events, and rallies to attend. You have the massive Overland Expos in four locations across the country. Events like Jeep Beach, Jeep Jamborees, The More Expo, Core, and Rendezvous in the Ozarks, just to name a few. But the Big Iron Overland Rally is completely unique. Its Overland Rally meets music festival and is the most relaxing and fun event you can attend. After making it to Big Brutus, I set up the tank, we saw a small rainbow, cooked some bison fajitas, and waited for Kara to arrive. Before bed, we got Goose acclimated to the tank, and he seemed to enjoy it. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm Matt. I'm Kara. I'm Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> With Ozark Overland Adventures. And we are just sitting and relaxing right now at the Big Iron Overland Rally. Uh, we got here last night, just got set up. The bands are setting up now. People are just now really starting to come in. And this is, I think, a beautiful weekend. one of my favorite events of the year. Because this thing is just so different than any other expo or overland rally or jeep event or anything it's just relaxing and chilling and listening to good music and there's a few vendors here we'll show you them in a little bit but this is what big iron is all about uh, just just chilling with a whole bunch of people with cool rigs the cool thing about these things you just get to walk around and see other people's rigs that they use i don't all know the that time. it'll all be rigs either because i've seen could be some campers too that i really like that's coming oh did you yeah. Oh, teaser. I don't even know what it is. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoy. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive makers of affordable, high-quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. the vendor area and see what we can find we got uh, Adam over here with Oki Overland a great website presence but if you're in the Tulsa anywhere in the that Tulsa Oklahoma area go hit up his shop it's fantastic uh, you have my buddy Aaron over here with switchback outdoor safety tons of great recovery gear first aid kits they're selling the Midland radios this weekend there's my buddy Mason with blue line what's up buddy Mason does a fantastic job raising money and awareness for our first responders. Got a fantastic group. Always does a lot of great things with kids at Christmas time. So we love Mason. And he's got some really sweet new patches this year. Uh, this is always one of my favorites. <laughs> um, this is a new one. Love it. Our new shop with the cop patches. Shop with I love it. Man, I was looking at this one yesterday. Skinny Guy Campers. They make them for all different size rigs. Um, it, it, it folds in half. And there's a lot of companies that make similar ones. IUCAB makes them. Go Fast Campers make similar ones that have the, the tin on top. Uh, but they've got the, the solar panel that slides out the back. It's got water and all of your... Um, gray waters stuff down here but this surprised me because it's actually got a full living area up here that I did not realize so you got your kitchen up here they've actually got a toilet in here and the beds over there table I mean these things are just sweet I've seen other ones but they it's just been a bed 
and that this this takes it to a whole other level and i just think they're incredible they're running they're running late but my friends at extrusion overland uh they've got one right here with the, their gladiator that's, that's actually my old tent um on top of it um but uh, that's what that looks like okay um my gonna get something similar in mine i wasn't uh okay that's that's cool i like how they did that with traction boards what's up cindy we got our friends with northology there's cindy we will be at core this year we can't wait then we got my friends at outback rv this is where we bought our conqueror um and this is we also got the the upco i've kara's ridden it around a couple times um, but we just got one of those and I am super pumped to, uh, to take that out on a trail and see how it does. But they've got, uh, they got our Conqueror, that's well, not ours, but, and then they've got this new one, this new little teardrop that is actually pretty sweet. Outback RV in Denton, Texas is an awesome place for out for overlanding adventure trailers. Uh, for dinner tonight, we're having bison fillets. We've got a bacon wrapped one and then just a regular one. Got these from Honest Bison. And the ribeye I had last week was incredible. It makes us to try these. Yeah, I'm trying to get a small band to play at the Moore Expo. And I found you on Good Salad Online. Buddy, we've been friends ever since. First bite. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I'm in love with bison. It's so good. This is not something you see every day at an Overland Rally Music Festival thing. Uh, we got the crowds everywhere. And, uh, and, and Kara's taking a shower. But we, because we have it. Is there a shower? Is there a line at the other bathroom? How'd it go? It went great. Goose did good? He did good. going to be a rooftop tent camper? Oh, yeah. Kara and Goose slept in her eye camper rooftop tent last night. Mm -hmm. And I slept in the Concord. Not because we got in a fight. We did not get into a fight. Um, But she has a women's event coming up next weekend and so I'm not going to be there and so she had to so she wanted to just test and make sure that Goose would be fine in the rooftop tent and that she could do you know, everything on her own Gary just threw Goose in the window I'm being Goose attacked ah. Well, good morning. It's uh, already stupid hot and humid here. And I think it's going to be like that all day long. And I made a mistake and did not bring my Zero Breeze to test it with the with the tank. Kara did say, babe, we should bring the Zero Breeze. And I was like, no, nah, it's not going to be high. It's, the temperatures are not going to be real nice. And, well, in typical weatherman fashion, they were wrong. I wish husband fashion, I crazy. didn't listen to her. So, I mean, it's a fact. Um, what's on the agenda for today? Uh, lots of music. Food competition. Food competition at the Overland Spice booth. Um, I have, I, I use some of their spices. And the snorkel one is real good on fish. And so I think I'm going to judge. There's a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. I think I'm going to judge some of those. Um, Kara is probably going to be doing a whole lot of goose wrangling today. That's her, that's her main... That's her main lot in life, is a goose herder. 
Um, and a whole lot of hanging out. I know we're going to do a lot more walking around and just trying to stay in the shade. My wife forced me to rig this up. So don't blast me in the comments for this. But this is, this is her doggy chariot on the Ubco. That is a legit car seat from her Jeep. But okay, can he, wait, can he tip over? No, he's not gonna tip over. That's uh, that's actually pretty secure. This is the end of Goose. <laughs> Goodbye, Goose. Oh my gosh. Hi, Goose. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, it's breakfast competition time. This is serious. We got uh, score sheets. There's like $3,000 worth of prizes total today. Four, yes. Oh, they are. Oh my gosh. Well, this one scores points and creativity for delivery. That a DJI FPV drone is pretty impressive. That's awesome. All right, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Some beautiful breakfast burritos. Number bite number one. Mm. Mm -hmm. New fork for each one. I'm gonna get a pineapple. Oh, okay. The pineapple. The pineapple hard. So, the pineapple. Oh, that's hot. That's good. That's the that's the middle part of the pineapple. That, that's a deductive. Okay, here's my box number two. Got some hash browns, some little green, some bacon. All right, I'm. Whoever ate this last did not bust the yolk. So you didn't. How did you even taste that good flavor? I mean, come on. Not with me. I mean, you had to bust. The, you had to get into the yolk. <laughs> oh, the yolk. That's where all the flavor is. All right, not good. All right, up next, we have a biscuits and gravy. Now the, okay, that's a good, considering that was cooked at camp. I mean, that's an impressive camp biscuit right there. I don't know, if, I wanna know what that was cooked in. Was that an Omnia? Was that a Coleman camp oven? Was that a Scottle? What was that? <laughs> okay, that's a heck of a, that looks like lunch. That's a heck of a That's like Is there, are there like eggs that. in there? I don't know. Yes, yes there are. Eggs, okay. Eggs, cheese, it looks I'm thinking, like maybe chicken. I'm thinking they got dinner confused with breakfast. Because that looks like a yeah, legit a big old burrito. It's brunch. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. That's, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The caramelized onion is killer. This one is the final one to judge. Uh, let's see. We got a, a <laughs> thing of pre done guacamole. So. I've been told this one's really spicy, so I'm gonna get some good guacamole to go with that. Thank you. I got a kick. I got a little kick to it. It's not bad. It makes, when you mix in the guacamole, it kind of, you know, soothes it a little bit. If the guacamole had been a fresh guacamole, that would have been way higher scored. We won't know the winners until tonight. All right, we got Jared with Shop Overland Apparel. He takes care of all of our merch. He is here at the show. Someone's getting the go, no, which one's that one? Oh, the We Can Go Anywhere shirt. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Whose shirt is that? Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I, I'll trade you shirts, but I don't think yours will fit me. <laughs> no, no, this is I want his shirt. The Care Bears, I hate people. I gotta have that. Well, this seems to be working out. All right, it's time for the lunch competition. All of these are made by kids, so we're super pumped to judge these. We got, uh, it's all different grilled cheeses. Oh, that one looks good. Let's see, we got, uh, we got some tomatoes in there. Mm. Oh, the tomato would make a nice one. Let's take a look at number two. Oh, oh, that's got some onions in it. I mean, no, that's cheese. That's just stringy cheese. That's just uh, different cheeses there, but nicely grilled. Okay. Whoa, that's got something different in there. That's got something sweet. 
I don't know what that is, but that's good. I don't know, there's something sweet in this one. Blueberry. Blueberry? Is there like a blueberry cheese in here? Or a blueberry bread? Oh, I think it's a blueberry bread. Yeah. Oh, that's all there. Wow. Okay. Oh, wait. A blueberry bread grilled cheese. And it's real buttery, too. What we got here? Oh. Oh, that's got to look like some pepperoni stuff. Okay. That's that. That's more than a grilled cheese. That's a whole. That's a whole sandwich right there. A lot of butter. Mmm, that's good. Mm. Okay. Um, I think you like Swiss cheese. Interesting. Yeah, this is very breakfast sandwichy. Is this our last one? Yep. Here we go. Okay. Very brief. That is a um. That's a tiny one. They did remove the crust from it. Um, hmm. All right, let's see if this one just blows me away. Oh, that's got a lot more flavor in there than I expected. I mean, that's just a dang good grilled cheese. Well, that was a lot of fun. The kids did a really good job on the grilled cheeses. There were a couple of those. I wish I had had an entire sandwich to, to eat for lunch because they were pretty good. Kara is going to enter the dessert competition tonight. I unfortunately cannot judge the dinner competition because I'll be in the middle of teaching a guy a GPS class during that time. So that's a bummer. And I'm kind of disqualified from judging the desserts because Kara's entering. I hope she does well. I think she will. She's going to cook in the new omnia oven and try that all right thought i'd show y'all our setup just real quick we've done a full walk around but we haven't shown this on the channel in in a while so we are absolutely loving our conqueror uev 490 uh, this is going to be our home that we will live out of full time in about three and a half years but uh, we we love it it's got awnings on both sides wall kits for both sides um I mean, Goose is loving the shade right now. He is, I mean, he's out. Um, we've got, I'm, right now I'm powering everything outside with the Blue Eddy AC200 Max with the, another 2000 watt hour jumper, just cause we're, we're charging the Upco. I can run the Conquer off of it, but we're constantly charging and running fans out here cause it is stupid hot and humid. Um, little, our little kitchen set up here. Uh, pantry there. Well, let me take you inside. Ugh. So, bed there. Uh, junk room here. Uh, all the camera stuff's out here. But seating area here. And as you can see, I mean, I'm six foot one and have a ton of headroom in here. So lots of space to to move around. So I did put up the wall kit on the back here. Uh, honestly, to give Kara some privacy to go to the bathroom, we've got the the bathroom area here. As you saw, Kara did take a shower last night, so the, the shower hose is running that way. But I mean, we got a ton of room here. I can't wait to be living out of this full time. I think it's going to be incredible. Uh, this is what it looks like on the back and, and up there. And I, I could do a wall kit all the way around if, if I wanted to. I've got solar panels out, keeping the battery topped off um, on the Conqueror. And it's fantastic. Nathan is rocking the Go Fast Camper. Um, very, I don't know, the ultralight, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's only, it's an 80 pound tent. And so far he is really liking it. Um, his setup is, it, it's perfect for him. And then he's rocking the moonshade for a, portable awning off the back um i mean i can't speak highly enough of the moonshade i i use mine all the time um but it really gives you great coverage you know for especially the back of a wrangler the back of a gladiator so he's got all of his cooking space here covered up and nice shade for a day like today tons of little loops in here so you know all the lights that he's got 
So that's Nathan's new setup with the Go Fast camper. And like I said, he, he really likes it. He has really enjoyed it this weekend. Nathan has been wandering around this place like crazy. There's not telling how many steps he's getting in. Because uh, he is actually the official photographer for this event. He's been doing that for since last year when this first started. He's the photographer for the Moore Expo. He's the photographer for Rendezvous in the Ozarks. So if you happen to be watching this and are in charge of, you know, an event like this, a, a Jeep event, an off-road event, an overland event type of, of deal, and you want some killer photos from a guy who will work his butt off, and give you just a ton of awesome photos covering every detail of the event, give Nathan a shout. Uh, Nathan Anderson. Nathan Anderson Photography on the Facebook page. Nathan Anderson on Facebook. Um, shoot me a message and I'll get it to him. But Nathan is fantastic at what he does. Thought we'd just do a quick drive around tour of everything that's here. That van is sweet. Check out this little, this little A-Light. And that thing cute. And that uh, awesome eagle. Wow, that's, uh, that's crazy cool. Right next to a nice Rubicon Gladiator. That's a cool trailer. A Westie with a scooter on the back. What? Oh my gosh, that is sweet! It's only, a Vespa! It's only a 50 cc. That's a legit Vespa, man. That is awesome. Ooh, okay, that's new. I didn't see that earlier. Wow, that's gorgeous. That orange is beautiful. What? Hey, hey! Oh, you're in the mud. Wow, that is a gorgeous classic Toyota. I love it. That thing is uh, interesting. Like the homemade setup there? Very cool. Man, these things will fly. I haven't, I haven't opened, my, opened up my app to actually check my miles per hour. Me neither. I've just been recording this. Oh, so I want to go a little more in depth. What is this thing called? Okay, so it's a high altitude trailer. The high altitude. Okay. It's an XT50. It's uh, made in Colorado. Okay. It's, it's a six-inch mattress. Six-inch mattress. Uh, Ignore the ugly guy on the other side. The ugly guy over there? Oh, it's, uh, I mean, so much headroom in here. I mean, for a teardrop... I, as as I, I know. Yeah. The headroom in this teardrop is crazy. Um, I mean, I'm sitting straight up. I mean, I couldn't stand up here, obviously, like I can't conquer. But... Uh, it's uh, very well constructed and nice and nice and big to have plenty of space. I think it only weighs like 1,700 pounds, which is not bad. You got the Dometic 45-liter fridge, stove, uh, nice cooking setup. It's got the zip solar on the roof. It comes all the way to like right here. Does it? Oh, that, okay. Yeah, I see it. Uh, but the new, yeah, I didn't realize Dometic was making a 12-volt AC unit now. So, no, you don't have to have shore power. You do have to have a crap ton of battery power. Uh, but a 12 volt AC is incredible. You can run it for so, like eight hours and 90 degree heat. Eight hours and 90 degree heat on a full charge. Yes, sir. And with solar, you can just charge it back up the next day. That's pretty sweet. I, I like it. I don't like it as much as that for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. But I do like it. Huh? Because that's what I own. Oh! That's, <laughs> that's why. It's a little prejudice. Where did I get this from? Uh, I think there's a place called Outback, Outback RV. RV in Denton, yeah, so I've heard of that place. Yeah. Yeah, they're great cool. guys. <laughs> and you can get Upco bikes from there too. Hey, by the way, McClellan is a mess. He's, he's a mess. It's true. He's just a mess. I mean, I don't deny it. <laughs> it's just fun. You know, I'm toying with getting a hat. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I need a... Uh, just a big old straw hat. Is this one size fit, fits most? Pretty much. Pretty much? Just try it on as many as you want. What do you think? I, I mean, I think I need this. I like I like this style better than what Kara got. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the hat. Uh, I may look like a complete dork in the hat, but I'm getting the hat because sun. Okay, let me show 
Okay, my rack is not finished yet, but will be soon. And when my rack gets finished, I will have a full video, but I wanna show you some of the cool stuff that you can do with the extrusion bed racks. Um, so, I'm assuming this slides out. It does, yeah. Is he loosen, yeah. you loosen that up, then boom, you can slide that out, gain access to roto packs, shovels, camp axe, all the things. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to have a mount for an off-road skateboard in a upcoming video, and it's going to be something very much like this. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna strap these around the skateboard. Um, I may just drill holes in this, the deck of the skateboard and run these through it. I mean, that would yeah. work and put some wing nuts on it. But yeah, I'm gonna have a slide out um, piece for my skateboard. Go that way, there we go. And then this is also... Oh, and then, oh, the whole top rack slides out. That's what I had in my Rome box. Oh, that's right, I remember that. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, I had to, I didn't have enough pieces at, the, at my house, so I had to piece it together. And it still works. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many cool yeah. things you can do. I mean, y'all have seen my lift up panels there, but the sliding pieces, um, you can just get so creative with this extrusion stuff. I mean, they've got awning extensions that you can add to the top to raise your awning up. Um, racks for the top of your rigs with gear storage up there. Swing arm for your shower. Swing arm for your shower. Yeah, oh, I mean, that is so cool. And then they've got these extensions for bike racks. And there's no way I could put my Ubco up here. Yeah, um, yeah, they made it a little, little heavy for that. But I mean, standard mountain bikes and road bikes and stuff, you got uh, lifted up bike rack storage on those. They're just, I mean, the, you're limited by your imagination. They're so cool. Right, we'll go up the hill. Man, this thing pulls like crazy. I'm gonna go in front. Should jump the rock, not really. Oh, hey! I got a hat. Nice hat. I like the hat. Because yours looks girly. All right, this is going to be pretty cool. Kara is cooking for the first time in her new Omnia oven. She's going to make a, what is it? A, some sort of chocolate cake? A s'more cake. There's, a, there's marshmallows and graham cracker crumbs and the chocolate cake mix and chocolate chips in the s'more cake. I'm excited. And here we go. Oh, that looks incredible. This is the tester. So we're going to pull this out and I'm going to eat it. Not the whole thing. And then we're gonna make, she's going to make a new one for the contest. Goose says it's super hot out here. It's so hot in the goose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, just uh, did my Gaia class for the day. The room was packed. I forgot to video any of it because I was pressed for time. Um, but it went really well. So thanks for all those who showed up. She showed up. She was there. Um, but I'm going to go over here and check out Kara's dessert submission for the uh, cooking contest I'm just gonna I, I can't judge this one unfortunately but I want to just see I'm not gonna sway them but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch I'm not sure if this is cares or not can't really, I can't tell oh, I think it is don't tell <laughs> okay, that was a really good sign because if Mason reacted that way, that's good. That's as cares. <laughs> She said was orgasmic. That's actually my friend Joey's. Ooh, this could be tough. 
Um, it's gonna be real tough. Whoa, that one's art. <laughs> Dang. Hold on a second, hold on. 2022 004. All right, winners will be announced in about 30 minutes, so should be interesting. I, I think it's gonna come down between Joey's and Kara's. I got to taste them all. I think it's gonna come down between Joey and Kara. Because they're both real good. I mean, I would obviously give it to Kara, but uh, Joey's was good too. Yeah, if anybody doesn't know Tate with Overland Spice, Tate, Woo! introduce Woo! yourself, buddy. We appreciate you. Love you. So we're going to jump right in. Uh, I'm going to call out. We're going to do breakfast first. In first place in the breakfast category, this man submitted a burrito that was phenomenal. I think you know who you are if you heard Burrito. Jacob K! Where you at, Jacob? And first place for the dinner category was a perfectly cooked ribeye with some potatoes. Give it up for Jacob Kane again! All right, Jacob! Our dessert category. Uh, third place was Jacob! Jacob. Jacob. All right, second place is Joey. Hey, Joey. First place is someone we haven't called up yet. They submitted a, I don't know what, but there was ice cream involved and marshmallows. First place goes to Kara McClellan. Yeah. Woo. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. Good job, babe. Kara, Joey, and Jacob. The yeah. Best. yeah. Five years. No way! Five years. Where'd you get that? I won. Why? You won that? And a cover. For children who You wanted that. I did. A flat pack. A, a Lucy light. A tire repair kit. A burry knife. And now 80. Put them at 80. Put them at 80. Now 90. And now 200 dollars 200 dollars You can do it. Yep. Now 210. 210. New blood. 200 now 210. 340 now 50. 350. Hey, that looks good. 350. Come on. 350. One time. Yes. yes. Now 360. 350. Now 60. Yeah. yeah. 360. Now 70. Hey, let him wear it. 370. 80. 380. 380. Put it. Now 390. Put it back on. You're good. There we go. 390. Now 400. Now 410. 400, now 410, 410, 410. Uh-oh, you're getting rid of that. 410, 400, now 410. 400, now 410. Last call, 400, now 410. Sold them at $400. Woo! Is that? So you got that for me. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a crazier hat than mine. Yeah, I want to go, I want to wow. Go. What do you say? 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Five hundred. Now, uh, five fifty. Five hundred. Now, five fifty. Now, five fifty. Five fifty. Now, six hundred. Five fifty. Six. And now, six okay, and a half. Six and now, six and a half. Six and a half. Let's do this. Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Let's sell it this way. Six hundred bucks. Woo! Dude, he rock, man. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, can't wait. We're going to have a blast. We're excited. We, were, yeah. we missed it last time. Dude, like we're going to have a, we're gonna have a blast. That Absolutely. Cool. You excited? Yep. All right. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll work it all out and we'll, go, we'll set a time and going, make it happen. Now seven. Over here at six. Now seven. Now eight. Put him in eight. Put him in eight. Put him in eight. Put him in eight. Seven, nine. My wife wants us on him pretty bad. Eight. Now nine. Eight. Now nine. 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 Put him in nine. 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 Put him in nine. One thousand. One thousand. There we go. Eleven hundred. One thousand. Now eleven hundred. Sold it, $1,000. Hey, that's oh a great deal right there. Holy crap. 90, 90, hey, babe. 390, 390, 390, shake your no more bidding. 390, now 400. We're done. 400, 400. Put them yeah, 400, we're, 400, done. 400, 400, 400, 400, we're done. Now 410. We're done. 410. 410. Oh, no. 400, now 410. 410, 410. 410. That's a heck of a deal, 400, now 410. Like, that's that kind of deal. 410. That's crazy. 410. Yes, we know. We're going to go. Yeah, but no more. Okay, 410, 420. 410, not 20, not 20, not 20. This is my first overlanding thing. 
Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Are you having fun? He had never yeah. seen it's this fun. tent yeah. before. Yeah, and she was I've never seen anything like it. She was like telling it. me for years until recently. what that was. So yeah. I'm, I'm out of the picture. It's an old, <laughs> it's an old brand new tent. I just okay. wanted to give you the So what is your name? Anita. Anita? Okay, I'm Kara. So okay, tell okay. us a little bit. This is one of my favorites. I've never seen a tent Thank like you. this, and I love the red. Yes. I love different things. It was bought in 1993, and it's actually a 1994 Toyota Land Cruiser okay. 80 Series. Uh, I got that from the So the, the tent right? date backs to the original purchase. Yeah. Correct. Oh, wow. Everything dates back to the original purchase. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because Here's looking at the, for the snorkel, gas tank. the ARB, previous pages. I what love they that y'all have all of this. Yeah, that is incredible. Right? I mean, Look at just, this. And yeah. a, originally it had three great big KC lights yeah. and now I'm wanting to upgrade. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that before wow. this, but the glass was shattered. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, really yeah cool. absolutely. And don't trip over the guidelines. Yeah, you're good. I have, yeah. we actually have one. I have way too much, but you know Oh my gosh, all the headroom. And I got the Whoa. To go with it. Oh, I have I've never seen a tip like this before. Yes. I probably got it for the case. I mean, I like everything that comes. I don't want it. I wish they What's still the made tents like this. <laughs> Super thick mattress. Golly. It's got to be so comfortable. And you said these and came with it? These totally came with it. Wow. And, and you but just we added, wood. Yeah, yeah, we added this. I love that it matches. Well, yeah. 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 Yes, it was nice meeting you too. What Bill. was it, like, Phil? Oh, yeah, pleasure, Bill. That was my dad's name. Yeah, yeah pleasure. Name? Matt. Matt. Yeah, nice Matt McClellan. Yeah, good to meet you. Good yeah. to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is another one of our favorite rigs. Here at Big Iron, it's a 97 Ford... I mean, 15 passenger van that's been converted to four wheel drive with some big old axles under it, sitting on 35s. Massive steel bumper on the front winch. I love how you access the, the winch controls. It's got this panel that pulls off, 13,000 pound X bull. Uh, rock rail steps, it's got a V10 in it roof rack with a roof nest, tent on top, big Darcy, is it a, one, is it a 180 or 270? 270, swing outs on the back, a place for a rear winch, same little door access. They built the drawers out of reclaimed barn wood that's like, what, 100 years old? Yeah, it was over 100 years old. It was 100 year old barn wood. I mean, that is just incredible. They've got uh, ample storage yeah, in here. Right. I mean, bed on top of here. Still got two rows of seating for the kids. I mean, it's uh, this is just a, a family hauling overlanding beast. Ladder to get on top. With a little platform on top too. Yeah. Let me see. I mean, little little deck up here. You can put a little chair. Throw some solar panels up here, man. You'd be sad. This thing is, this thing is so cool. Oh, 35s. This is a lot more Fridge for a center console. That's that's handy. This thing is just incredible. I absolutely love this rig. It's so cool. All right, this was uh, another one of our favorites here. This classic VW Westie that is in incredible condition. I just noticed the bumper, nice uh, nice steel bumper. What year is this? 1982. 1980, and this thing is in such amazing condition. I mean, you got the, the sink and the stove and the storage. You've, of course, got the bed up here. I mean, this is one of the original rooftop tents. Now you pay a crap ton of money for a conversion to make a Wrangler into something like this. But I mean, just the fact that this is original and it's a 1980 is just so cool. And how long have y'all had this? Uh, two years. Two years? Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely love it. 
Well, I, I, I think you've got just an amazing rig. Well, we have had an incredible time at the Big Iron Overland Rally. Yeah. Next year, I mean, be sure and watch all the announcements for Big Iron Overland Rally. We'll be announcing it next year. Not sure if it's going to stay in June. It may move to a different date, but it's definitely going to happen in 2023. So Super uh, it's, it. it's just chill. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure and give it a like. Uh, that helps the video do well. And be sure to check out our Patreon where you can find out all of our GPS locations and our waypoints. We share those with you. And we also put on events that are specific to our Patreon members. Yeah. And uh, if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, like these two shirts, uh, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Yeah, they're the great. Yeah, we've got some cool stuff. She's got a couple ladies events coming up the next couple a lot weekends. Of the so events. it's going to be uh, some very unique stuff. Um, coming out soon and then we've got colorado expo pacific northwest so lots of cool stuff so be sure yeah. to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time see you later bye bye